The nice thing with the, um, the bit, bucket, bit bucket stuff is it's completely automated. You don't need to know anything about Visual Studio, you don't need to know anything about um, Umbrico or packaging to get started. You can just edit the files that you want, run the command, and off you go. And we'll go through that. So why, why do we want you guys to commit? Well, we, we've sort of set this out as a bit of a, uh, you know, a starting block for you. Um, we're doing it because we want to speed up our development, and Sora wants to make it easier for, for you guys to get started. I think it's the same for um, the commit as well. You know, let's extend this thing. Let's make it something that you can literally take out the box, drop it down, and say to clients here, you want that bit of functionality? Great. OK, faceted search. No problem, off you go. Oh, you want to auto-complete in the search? Yeah, no worries. You know, it's, it's all there. It's just trying to make it easier for us to roll out and actually get to the fun stuff. Because, I mean, although it's been a lot of fun writing this in the first place, you don't want to have to keep doing that every single e-commerce platform that goes out. Everybody wants the same, same details these days. Everybody wants to have the auto-complete in the, in the search box. Everybody wants to have the sort of the, the easy to update thing. So if we can get the, 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 the little bits of functionality that clients want into this core package, then it's going to make our lives a lot more easy and a lot more fun doing the, uh, the extension stuff. So what have we got coming up? What do we want to do with this? There, there are a few little niggles at the moment which we were working on last night just to resolve with the installer um, that uh, Sora and I are going to sit down and, and go through in a bit. But we want to extend it with um, ma making a few, a few more of the, uh, the JavaScript methods a bit easier. We want to add faceted search. We want to add things like the autocomplete drop down. Um, and all the other little features that clients come and sort of ask, ask us about, product to Zoom, um, rotating banners driven by products and things like that. And we see it as a sort of like a really good demo bed to, if you write a package, like you were saying, the, um, the product page picker, for example, or the, or the, the picker for products on the content type, use this. You know, take this as a starting block and then make it work on the demo store, make it work on the, the blank Umbra code package. If it works there, then in theory, you can roll it out on anybody. And then if you want to include it in the package, that would be great, because we want to, uh, to keep extending. But ultimately, all I've got to say is get going. You know, I think let's start developing stuff. Let's get some commits in today. I don't think the repo is particularly restricted. Um, you know, I was less on it, so if I'm led on it, I'm sure you guys were. So lastly, as soon as we've got no more uh, interaction stuff to show, does anybody have any questions? Go on then, sorry. How do I get to go yeah, so the, um, another technical problem. We've got a, a nice shiny ultra book here, which has got all the answers to that, uh, to that problem. So I'm going to have to guess now. So um, for those of you who don't know Bitbucket, uh, it's bitbucket.org. And cryptically named, we have eCommerce forward slash eCommerce razor store. Now, we'll do a, um, a session in a minute to sort of like talk you through how to pull and fork and get started with Mercurial. Um, but basically, if you pull down this, you've got everything you need right from the start. And you know, obviously, my nice picture with my helicopter. I wish it was mine. It's sadly, sadly not. So, okay, so that's bitbucket.org forward slash e commerce forward slash e commerce hyphen razor hyphen store. <laughs>